Uh, my name's Ian Darrington. I uh, was a teacher advisor for Wigan with special responsibilities for jazz and live music. I started working here in 1977 and took early retirement in 2011. To mention the Jazz Festival, we really need to go back in time before the festival started in 1986 and have a look at what the Youth Jazz Orchestra did because the festival came about as a result of all the great work that the orchestra had done in the region, promoting big band music and basically developing an audience for big band music and jazz, mostly initially amongst parents and friends and family, but then it became a, a community-wide thing and we developed a huge audience. So in 1986 we were able to start an international jazz festival and uh, it took off right from the very word go. Uh, it was just a, an amazing response. We had uh, capacity audiences for the what was then an eight-day festival and it just developed into one of the world's most respected and um, friendliest jazz festivals. It's now in its 35th year, which is an incredible period of time. Uh, it's had its ups and downs, but mostly ups, I have to say, and we've been very fortunate to be able to feature some of the very biggest names in the jazz world, uh, many uh, including people like the Count Basie Orchestra, Maynard Ferguson, Bobby Shue, Horace Silver, uh, Dave Brubeck, and, and many more. The Jazz Festival grew out of a conversation in a pub. Uh, we were just saying how great it was all going. And uh, we just flippantly remarked that we could, we could have, actually have a Jazz Festival here. And uh, those in power just turned around and said, well, get on with it then. And that's what we did. So we never even thought about the long term. All we knew is that there was an audience here. There was a lot of great music uh, that we could tap into. Uh, but to think 35 years down the line, no, we, we couldn't have, have possibly dreamed that, that we were going to last for that length of time. The great thing is that when musicians come here from uh, far and wide, they're all pleasantly surprised at what a great place it is, how friendly it is, how the audience and how people chat to them and so on. So it's a, that's a, been a really good part of it and a, a part that I've really enjoyed uh, you know, being a part of taking people around the town, showing them. And think back to Jules Holland a few years back. He was spotted on Wigan Lane taking photographs of the historic, you know, outside Mabs Cross School and a little bit further up where Battle of Wigan Lane took place. And he, he, he was there taking photographs and talking very warmly and passionately about this place of Wigan. And uh, I'm not from Wigan, so I can uh, speak, uh, you know, proudly of it from a different perspective. And uh, that's, uh, that's a great feeling. <laughs>